One of the most exciting things about the Quest 2 is its ability to play games at a 90 hertz refresh rate, which results in a more buttery smooth and visually pleasing experience. Unfortunately, Oculus disabled that feature until they release an update coming in the future and we don't know exactly when that is. But I have a way for you to use 90 hertz in the games that have 90 hertz enabled right now and it's all thanks to ready at dawn the dev behind echo arena on the quest and quest 2 platforms unfortunately it's not quite as easy as just flipping a switch there's a couple things that you're going to need you're going to need your quest 2 a cable to plug into your pc a pc and the ability to sideload using side quest if you don't know how to sideload yet but you do have a PC, I'll put a link in the description on an easy to follow guide on how to do that. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure your Quest 2 is on and then plug it into your PC. Next, as long as you have SideQuest installed and side loading enabled, I've made a batch file, which makes this super simple. All you have to do is download that at the link in the description. Once it's downloaded and you've got your Quest plugged into your PC, double click on the batch file and let it run. Once it's complete, hit the enter button. The next thing you have to do is press the power button to turn your screen off on your Quest 2. Wait a few seconds, press it again to turn the screen back on, and 90 hertz should be enabled. I tested this a couple of times and in a couple of games, and I can confirm that it definitely works switching 90 hertz on. You can switch it off if you want with a separate ADB code, but it's just as easy to reset your Quest 2 because unfortunately, when you turn your Quest 2 off, you will have to do this ADB command all over again once you've reset. Right here, you can see the side-by-side -side recordings in Beat Saber. One was recorded around 40 frames per second, and the other was recorded around 90 frames per second. The one on the left was recorded before I enabled 90 hertz, and the one on the right was recorded afterwards, signifying that this definitely worked, and it recorded at 90 frames per second. I have to tell you, even though it is super hard to showcase what it looks like, playing a game at 90 hertz is a lot different than playing it at 72 hertz. And one of the biggest things is virtual desktop supports playing games on your PC at 90 hertz. So this is huge and unlocks an even better experience if you're streaming games from your PC to your Quest 2. I wanna quickly show you a couple of examples of what 90 hertz looks like on the Quest 2 in comparison to 72 hertz. Unfortunately, I can't really show you what it looks like because this video will be rendered at 60 frames per second and it's gonna take both and make them look the same. So what I've done is extremely slowed down these videos and you can see that there's quite a difference between the left side and the right side. The left side seems to almost jump frames at a quicker pace in comparison to the right side. The right side steps are much more small as it continues to go through the progression of the video. That means that it's getting more frames per second inside of that recording, hence more frames per second inside of the headset as well. If you've ever noticed the difference between watching a 24 frames per second video or a 60 frames per second video on YouTube, that's essentially what you're doing is increasing the amount of frames. So it adds fluidity to the actual gameplay and it makes it feel more crisp, clean, and there's less motion blur. Hopefully this will help somebody out there. I saw this this morning and I had to do something about it because I know a lot of people want to be able to play with 90 hertz and at least until Oculus re-enables that natively on the Quest 2, if you can sideload and use SideQuest, you can have 90 hertz at least until they close that loophole if they do. Now one quick disclaimer, it's not necessarily going to work perfectly or on every game due to the fact that it is an unsupported method of turning this on. If you run into issues, just reset your Quest 2 by holding down on the power button plus only some games games are enabled for 90 hertz right now. I tried several and they definitely work, but there are some that don't. Beat Saber works, Real VR Fishing works, and there are several other ones, but you just have to test it to find out and see if it works. You will notice the difference when playing 72 or 90, no matter what game you're playing. If you want to continue to get the most out of your quest and your quest too, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. Plus, you can check out even more of my videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and Happy questing.